Today I'm going to show you five home kit accessories that are life changing. This is episode seven of the series where every single month I show you tons of smart home accessories to make your smart home so much more useful. Let's get started with the brand new released a car motion and light sensor, which now works with matter over thread. So the motion and light sensor can do two things. One, the obvious one, it's a motion sensor. So whenever someone crosses or whenever the sensor detects motion, you can make the sensor turn on a specific light. For example, I've got a couple motion sensors in my bathroom. So whenever I enter my bathroom, the lights will turn on. And when I leave, those lights will turn on. It's also a light sensor, which is extremely useful if you use it the right way. For example, I've got mine in my terrace pointing the sun and I created an automation that whenever the light sensor detects over 1000 lux of light, my curtains will automatically open, which means whenever there's a lot of sun, whenever there's a lot of light, I want all of that light to come in my apartment and it does it all automatically connecting with my smart curtain. It's pretty cool the way that it works and you can do so many more automations with it. Now the P2 sensor from Akara has high precision and wide angles. I love the design of it and it's actually got a pretty discreet design that you can use it in a bunch of different ways. You can use it upside down, you can use it with the stand, you can use it without the stand. It's actually got a pretty decent battery life lasting you over two years. The cool thing about this new P2 sensor is that it doesn't actually require Require a hub, making it a very relatively cheap and affordable sensor, reliable, and it's actually got a great design and it's super small and compact that you can wiggle like the top. What do you think about it? I mean, I think it's pretty cool. The automation that I did with my curtains, I think I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Next up, we've got the Eufy SoloCam S220. Now, there's a lot to like about this security camera. The main feature of the security camera is that it's actually powered by solar energy. On the top, you've got a solar panel. Three hours of sunlight will actually give you the entire day of battery, which is pretty good. The quality of the camera is actually pretty great, and you've got infrared LEDs with a 1.6 aperture, which will bring in a lot of light, and it's also got night vision. So if you want outdoor extra security, you'll be able to see what's going on during night. Eufy also says that it's it's very easy to install since you can put it anywhere thanks to its tiny size and wire-free design. You literally only have to drill one hole and that's it. You've also got AI features so it can actually detect what's a human or what's an animal or what's a package. So if you want to be notified when the camera sees a person, you can do that. Or if you just want to be notified when animals are in your garden, for example, it can do that too since it's got AI. There's a lot of cameras that if you want to see like, okay, what happened two days ago at the garden, for example? It makes you pay, which kind of sucks. With the solo cam, you've got only the one-time purchase of the camera, no monthly fees or hidden costs. And you've also got on-device storage, which is also really welcome. It's also got an IP67 rating. So if you actually want to put it outdoors, it will handle rain, hail, or hard sunshine really well. You've got a one-pack and a two-pack. So if you actually want to put two in different parts of your home, it can be really useful for you. Obviously, I will link all the products that I mentioned in this video in the description down below. Next up is the Honeywell Lyric T6, which is a smart heating system that is obviously compatible with HomeKit. It allows you to control all of your heating system within the home app, so you can turn up or turn down the heat right from your home, wherever you want in the world. And that's the power of it. For example, let's say you're at work and it's a very cold day and you wanna turn on the heat like this when you're at home, it's already Work. We have a smart heating system in our summer house and for example, my mom always hated that when we arrived at the summer home, it was always cold and then it took like two hours to heat our entire home. Now, whenever we arrive at the summer home, we basically turn it on like this, we arrive to a warm home. And you can do a lot with automations. For example, if you've got door and window sensors, whenever a window is opened, the heating will stop like there's, there's no energy wasted. Or for example, if you've got a weather station, or a temperature sensor, you can tell the T6, hey, whenever our home reaches X amount of degrees, make sure to turn up the thermostat to a certain degree. That's the power of a smart heating system, how everything just kind of works together. What I like the most about the Honeywell T6, even though it's kind of old, I decided to buy it last year because of the compatibility, it's pretty much compatible with most heating systems, which is obviously welcome. 
Next up is another security camera, this time from Akara, the camera E1, which brings smart vision. We've actually got ours at the studio, which basically brings us an extra sense of security here at the office. It offers 360 degree viewing. You can also track a certain person. It can then follow that person around. You've got a 2K sensor with a wide angle lens. It's also got AI features, the features that I mentioned that it detects when it detects a human, a person, or a package. You've also got night vision, and a feature that we often use here at the studio is the two-way audio. So not only you can listen and you can hear what's going on, where the camera is actually located, but you can actually speak to whoever's inside of the studio. So for example, when somebody enters our studio, we can actually interact with the person. Hey, has the package arrived yet? No? Okay, bye-bye. So it's basically like having a phone call with the webcam itself. There's also privacy mode. So if we're at the studio and we don't want like, you know, nobody looking at what we're doing, we can basically just turn it around with privacy mode and it will look at the wall, for example. I honestly like the design a lot of it. It's kind of like this ball that kind of twists. It obviously has that 360 degree angle so you can see and follow a person around. I don't know, like the, the ball is pretty cool. Let me just look at it. Okay, so here's a quick hands-on with the security camera itself. I absolutely love the design. It's got this ball looking design on the top and then this stand in the bottom. Now what's cool is that within the app, you can actually make it turn around and it can actually track um, the person so it can actually follow it around. And the bottom, you've got these holes so you can actually mount it on the wall. So if you want to, you know, drill the wall, you can simply do like this, or I mean, with just double-sided tape, you could pretty much slap it into anywhere. We actually had it before in the studio. We actually had it right here, but at the end, you know, it just sits um, right there. USB-C is how you power it. You've got the reset button right here. That's pretty much it. It's pretty plasticky and pretty lightweight if I'd have to complain something about it, but I mean, it's fine. I mean, it, it looks great. I like it. Very minimal and future looking. What do you think about it? If you want to watch more episodes of the life-changing HomeKit accessories, you can tap these videos right here or you could definitely subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.